Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Zangi Muemi from codebuild.co.ke. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how to draw a bar graph in Excel. So let's get started. I have here my Excel opened and you can see this is a list of uh, the recent projects that I had opened in Excel and what I want us to do is to create a new workbook and I want the new workbook to be a blank one not based on a template so I'll click on this blank workbook and then a new workbook will be created as you can see I have book one and uh, I'm working on uh, sheet number one and so what I will do is I'll create a table that shows the various members of a professional association and uh, the number the exact number of uh, each profession represented in that association so this data will be in in in, in a table format I will have here a profession and this other column will be number of members so click on that to make it fit and the first one is I have urban planners and these are 100 we have architects and they are 120 and I have a quantity surveyors so and these are 80 I have engineers they are 60 in number next one is uh, project managers and this uh, 45 we have environmental designers and We have engineers, they are 60. We have project managers who are 45. Our environmental designers are 25. Let's key that in. We have interior designers represented. And these are also 25. And we have most mm, here landscape architects also and these are 55 so if you look at this column the text that we've written is not fitting so what we do is we will place our cursor in here between column D and column E until it turns to a cross with the two uh, multi-directional arrows then double click on that and then you'll see the, 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 the column adjust its uh, size to fit the data and so for us to be able to have a visual representation of this data so that when we just look at it we can able to tell which profession has uh, X amount of members or which profession has more members than the other and us to represent this data in uh, a bank graph and to draw a bank graph in Excel the first step is you have to select the range of cells that contains the data that you want to plot so what I will do I will click on this profession then I'll draw drag using the mouse to cover all that area and after that 
step number two is going up here to insert and then when you click on insert at this point you can see we have uh, recommended charts we have lots of charts here as you can see I want us to click on uh, recommended charts for the time being and if you can see the first one is a very nice one as, as you can see it's a clustered bar chart we have a column chart we have a pie chart if you want to see the exact list list for all types of charts that we are able to create there is uh, this you can click on all charts and then you have all these types that are here you have a column chart you have a line graph you have a pie chart a bar chart you have an area chart all these as, as available so you can be able to choose this option that is here bar chart then uh, the bar chart that we want to create is this first type it's a clustered bar chart click on it and then click ok then you will have your bar chart placed as you can see so if you want to expand the view you can just put the cursor at the corner here until it turns to that uh, double sided arrow click with your mouse then you can be able to drag and expand the size of a of your budget that's that's how to do it and then if you look at uh, our chart we are able to tell like we have this is the bar for the planners this is the bar for the architects the qs and all it, these other professions as in in, in uh, the table that we have here so in case we change anything in case we want to change anything here like i say this is going to be 110 if i change that you will see the change being reflected down here in uh, the graph and so if you want to do further editing you can click to select it then there is a plus button there's a plus here which is used for adding or removing elements to the chart such as the title legend grid lines the rest so if you click on the plus you have elements such as access you can be able to activate access titles and if you activate the uh, title for the access you will get here axis title in this you can call it as a, you can name it name it a number of uh, members which is in the horizontal axis and in the vertical axis and us to have the professions as represented so this is very easy to do so if you want to add anything you go back there let's say we want to have the specific numbers labeled for each column which that is we activate the data labels and you can see for each profession for each bar the number is written there at the end of it so that's that's how to do it it's a, it's a very easy thing anything that you had is going to be represented down here you can add a, a, a data table or you can just deactivate it and that's not the only thing that you can do if you look at uh, the, the, the the option below for the chart styles if you click on that you see you will be able now to to choose between uh, or among all these uh, chart styles that are available uh, that depends and this depends on uh, your choices and preferences so let's say if this was the one that interested me most I can choose to click on that then it will be reflected on this other side and that will be my chart and one thing before we end the video a chart or, or and, and for this for this type of a graph 
bar graph we are required to have a title and if you look at up here what I have selected that is the title of my graph of the bar graph and there are some rules eh, that you are supposed to follow because if I have this does not really describe what my bar graph represents so I can type the title in as look at this bar graph representing or rather showing you can type representing or showing um, professional members and if you type that you see now you have uh, given a precise description of what your bar graph represents so that's not the end of it we can be able also to change the font for everything that we have you select that bar and then come down up here and uh, type for you your favorite font and just click and you will see everything updating as 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 as, as we key in the information that we have now let's say you wanted to maximize the view for your bar graph you can be able to right click on uh, the graph the bar graph itself and you will be having all these options i want you to go down up to where you have the option of move chart and select that and then now you see you have two options either you can move it as an object in sheet number one or you can create it create a new sheet for that and and us to experiment with creating a new sheet so select this option and click on ok and there we are we have our bank graph is represented very well in a full page and we can be able to see all the details as as uh, plotted so let's say i wanted to save this in a pdf I can be able to go to file save as then I'll select where I want my file to be saved let's say I wanted desktop and uh, the, this is the file name and down here under save as type I'll click on this drop down arrow and I'll select PDF and I want that PDF to open after I have finished publishing then I'll click on save and it's going to be saved and after saving it's going to open in a PDF and if you look closely this is what we have been able to produce I think it's awesome it's a very nice one okay that's not the only thing we can do with the Excel bar graphs or rather excel charts let's say we are working on a project and we have uh, information typed in a uh, microsoft word and we want to have this bank graph as part of this uh, word uh, document that we have been typing so then the, the thing you can do is you can be able to copy this to to, to microsoft word so just right click and uh, select this option copy and then go to your word document down here you can be able to right click also and choose whether you want to or the or, or you want to paste it as as it was in excel you want to keep source, source formatting or whatever these are the options for pasting that are available and the best for me is is uh, I will choose I want to use this one keep source formatting and data link and what this does is if I change anything in uh, Excel let's say I went here 
and sheet number one and I changed the number of uh, landscape architects to 200 what happens is if I go back to my chart I'll look at this graph and it, it has changed so that thing that change is going to be reflected in my word document because I have linked the data uh, between word and excel so let's go and check it out and that's it if you look at it we have not come back and made any change in a, in word but you can see we have 200 as we've keyed in in excel reflected back here in a word i think with that small uh, in explanation you are able to create any type of uh, a bar graph using any type of data and thank you for watching this video i hope it has been helpful to you please consider subscribing to my youtube channel i make such types of videos about excel i also make videos about bluebeam i make videos about archicad so if you're interested in all this make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.